the issue of shabarimala is portrayed as the issue of shabarimala is portrayed as something connected with the gender discrimination something connected with the gender discrimination and the honorable supreme court of india has gone to the extent of saying is uh, uh, as a as a type of untouchability but we must understand in the very outset that there is nothing to do with untouchability and gender discrimination in shabarimala they are not the matters there but the whole media is crying that is that is a part of a, a big conspiracy which we can call uh, breaking india forces uniting together we are seeing the puppets playing in front we are not seeing the threats behind this is the problem we are seeing the puppets in front we are not seeing the threats behind so from so many corners so many so many uh, corners so many forces are working to break sanadana dharma and that is happening in many many streams and many many fields see shabarimala is the place where largest number of devotees or largest number of persons goes every year it is number 1 you don't take kumbhamala it is not a annual affair it comes only in 12 years and ardha kumbha come in uh, once in 6 years but a place of worship a place of devalaya the largest number of persons assembles in shabarimala last year it was more than 5 crore people more than the total population of kerala so this shabarimala is directly contributing to stop or to some extent control uninterrupted religious conversions in andhra pradesh tamil nadu karnataka and of course in kerala this is the first thing you have to realize shabarimala is instrumental in stopping or practically in controlling to a great extent religious conversions in the south india second no government no court can stop a drunkard from drinking but bhagavan ayya pakya even a tipla even a drunkard he stops drinking alcohol for 41 days and thereby giving a, a happy life to the village people of of south india no court can do this no government can do no state government no central government only bhagavan ayya pakya these are the problems and not only this there is another matter also and that is uh, near shabarimala there is a rimeli and there a very big airport should come it is the interest of some quarters and along with that airport some tourist resorts and for the viability and the success of those shabarimala must be made a tourist spot these are the main three points you have to keep in mind so we know the greatness of sanadana dharma lies in unity of diversity or unity in diversity so many diverse practices are there so many diverse practices but there is an underlying unity which is connecting all these uh, these diverse practices 
when we observe temple worship at all, there are diverse types. And again, when we observe the temple worship patterns in India, we can see in all other parts, we are following Vaidic system, whereas in Kerala, we are following Tantrika Vaidika system. It's a sort of Tantrika Vaidika system that is followed in Kerala. Kerala means not the political Kerala of today, but the Tantrika Kerala. Tantrika Kerala begins from uh, this uh, Kanyakumari and the extent goes up to Mukampika. That is the, the, the extent of Tantrika Kerala. So in the Tantrika Kerala, the temples, there are so many unique practices. Unique practices. For example, uh, there is one temple called Manarashala. There, the head priest will always be a woman. No man can be the head priest. No. We are not shouting against it. It is a matter of gender discrimination. No men are allowed to be the, the head priest of the temple. We are not saying. It is a practice. And see, uh, Sanyasi is not a temple worshipper. You know that. I don't, I don't know whether you know or not. Sanyasis are not temple worshippers. We are not Karmakandis. After throwing the Yajnopavida to a flowing river, we are becoming Sanyasis. So we are not Karmakandis. Even though we are not Karmakandis, entry of a Sanyasi into a temple is considered most auspicious. But there is a temple in Kerala where sannyasins are not allowed to enter in. You know that? That is Payanur Subramanya Swami temple. No sannyasin is allowed. It's a practice. We are not going discrimination against the sannyasins. So you must allow us to enter. No, we are not going. There is a temple in Kollam district of Kerala where all men will go in the dress of women. They will wear saris and blouses and uh, so many other things with the long hair, pitted, you see. <laughs> they will go to temple. It's a practice. So many unique practices are there like this. And in Shabarimala, it is a practice which is coming from time immemorial that women of the menstruating age are not allowed to enter. Young girls before their puberty can go and women after their menopause can go. So it is not exclusion but it is only limited restriction. And see temples are not places of a public worship. Temples are not places of public worship. We must understand this fact. We must not give the right to declare temples as public places to court or to government. We must know that temples are not places of public worship. Temples are called in Sanskrita Devalaya. In Hindi and other languages, Mandir. And in Malayalam, Ambalam or Kshetram. All these means it is the house or the abode of God. Devalaya, Devasya Alaya. It is the house. From morning to night, all the worship patterns we are following in temples are just like uh, uh, making the morning call, then uh, then, uh, then the dhavana, cleaning the teeth, then uh, then snana, bathing the deity there, then giving food to deity, and so many decorations. Again food, again decorations, again food and water. 
and in the night sleep well. So it is the devale. In an alaya, as a part of that, it is a place of worship. Basically, it is not a place of worship, basically it is the devalaya, and we can go and worship. So there is the basic matter, there is the basic thing is fundamental right to worship versus limited right for darshan. Once more, let me repeat. The case there is fundamental right to worship versus limited right for darshan. In the temple, the right of deity is the first and foremost thing. Then only comes the right for devotees, worshippers and all. So Bhagavad, there are so many temples dedicated to Lord Ayyappa. In Kerala itself, there are so many thousands of temples. And outside Kerala also, there are so many temples. Even in America, there are Ayyappa temples, I have heard. Everywhere, everybody can go. Whether you are a man or a woman or a transgender, you can go. There is only one temple that too in the midst of forest, on the top of a mountain, where entry is somehow restricted. And as per belief, it is the instruction of Bhagavan Ayyappa himself. Before entering into Samadhi, he called Pandalam Raja and instructed. In such a pattern, you must build a temple for me. And the patterns of worship must be like this. So he instructed and accordingly we are observing. And this observance was there from time immemorial. It is not hurting anybody. In the, is our, if our government or God, in the name of uh, 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 gender discrimination, are going to break the age-old custom or system followed in Shabarimala, we must shout. First, you have to consider the condition, what is the in mosque. There are lakhs of Muslim masjids. Nowhere women are allowed to enter. There is only one temple, only one temple. And that too, exclusion is not there. Only limited restriction is there. And it is the right of Lord Ayyappa because it is his house. See? But the biased media and the biased intelligentsia, the so-called, are seeing only one side. They cannot see a whole. When we talk about masjid, they are keeping mom. But when it is the case of Shabarimala, they have a thousand tongues. This is what is happening. So we must realize there is no exclusion, there is only limited restriction, and limited restrictions are there everywhere. Wherever you go, there are limited restrictions. In airports, there are limited restrictions. In hospitals, there are limited restrictions. In schools and colleges, there are limited restrictions. Everywhere. In the bus and train and flight, there are limited restrictions. Everywhere. So the matter we have to read. And the Honorable Supreme Court has taken the matter up to the extent of untouchability. This is a matter of untouchability. What nonsense it is. It is not untouchability. Because untouchability comes when it is something connected with the caste discrimination. There is no caste discrimination. See? So, we want to preserve and protect the age-old custom not only in Shabarimala temple, everywhere. If a change is essential, change will come. And we will accept the change. But the change must come from within, not from the secular government. It must come from experts of Veda, experts of Tantra Shastra. And of course, in the case of Shabarimala, Tandri is there, Pandalam Raja is there. There must be a consensus and, uh, and uh, change must come. We will not or must not allow the secular government to, to put hand in all matters of 
Hindu dharma only. That is not good. But in India, it is so. They have no tongue regarding other religions, but all atrocities are being performed against Hindu dharma. See, when somebody in, New, uh, in Europe portrayed Muhammad Nabi, then there was a huge protest in India and many shops of uh, Hindus were attacked. The whole intelligentsia stood up and shouted and when Goddess Lakshmi, Goddess Saraswati, Goddess Durga, Hanuman, Shiva, Rama, everybody were portrayed as nude and in such a manner just to humiliate our dharma. It was the right of the artist. That is happening. So we must understand these uh, dual standards taken by government, taken by media, taken by the so-called intelligence area and all. So stand, be united with the united force. We can work for the protection of our dharma because it is, uh, it is said by Bhagavan Manu himself. Dharma Rekshati Rekshitaha Dharma Eva Hato Hanti So when we protect our dharma, dharma will protect us. If we are not protecting our dharma, dharma will not protect us. Always this must be kept in mind and we must protect ourselves, our dharma.